She's an 11 months old girl. The mother was concerned about the shape of the neck and the mother was telling that she is not holding the neck properly. When I examined, neck holding was fine. But I was quite surprised when I saw the neck. The neck was short and there was webbing of neck. As you can see, the neck is short and it is a web neck. I looked at the hairline, slightly low hairline. She was fine otherwise. Okay. Patma. When I called the name, she, she looked into my eyes. She was having a fine IQ. She doesn't seem to be mentally retarded. Patma. These are the facial features. The nose uh, is slightly depressed, broad based. The ears are slightly inverted. Look at the hands. And let's see the feet also. So when I did the x-ray, when I looked at the x-ray, the cervical spine was fused. You can see at this point, the cervicals, two of the uh, vertebras are fused together. You can see, two of the vertebras, they are fused. So the x-ray of this patient gives me the diagnosis of Klippel Field Syndrome. We'll call this girl on follow-up to see how she behaves in the future. Klippelfield syndrome is a rare disorder characterized by the congenital fusion of two or more cervical vertebrae. It is caused by a failure in the normal segmentation or division of the cervical vertebrae during the early weeks of fetal development. There is triad of Klippelfield syndrome. There is short neck, low posterior hairline and a limited range of neck movements, especially of lateral bending. Treatment of Klippelfield syndrome. It is symptomatic and may include surgery to relieve cervical or craniocervical instability and constriction of the spinal cord and to correct scoliosis. Physical therapy may also be useful.